fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust to the hearty Hayo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order throughout the early western United States. Whenever men gathered around the campfire, stories were told of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness. And these stories have been handed down through the generations. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Tonto's waiting on the trail ahead! We've got to hurry! Hello, Silver! Away! Late one afternoon, a stranger walked down the main street of Ridgeville, leading a bear on a chain. He stopped in front of the express office, and before long, a crowd of townspeople had surrounded him. Come on, get around. Here you are. Take your squid at him. Get around here. It's a bear. He's got him trained. A brown bear. My name's Leach. I come from the Rocky Mountains way out west. This here's a bear I catched in the valley of the tall trees. Me and the Yosemite Indians trained him to do tricks. Get around and watch him dance. Come on, get around and shower down. If you like the way Rocky dances, you can spare a pinch of gold dust or silver dollar. Look out. That bear's ferocious. Oh, she's a big one. Hey, it's Rocky. Well, go on your hairy hide. I said dance. Look at his teeth. Look out. He took a swipe at you. Oh, he's awful mean. Well, you won't do like I tell you, huh? I'll teach you. My name ain't Jack Leach. I'll learn you. Let's see how you like this. You're going to whip him. Get back there, girl. You wouldn't want your pigtails getting caught in this whip. It's cruel to whip animals. Pigtails, this here is a cruel bear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see him dance. It's a fake. Ah, that bear don't know no tricks. Are you going to dance? This is dance. Dance. All right, then. Here goes another piece of your hide. Hey, what's going on here? Hello there, Sheriff. How'd you know I was the sheriff? Because you wearing your badge in your vest. Come on, Rocky. Dance for the sheriff. Pa, he shouldn't whip the bear. You're right, Betsy. It ain't right to do Look that. Look out there. Hey, French out. Hold that bear still. He almost clawed my horse. Steady, boy. Whoa. Sorry, Sheriff. I'll tame this here bear. He never failed. Rush the sheriff, will you? I'll teach you. Look out. He's getting wild. Watch him. He'll bust what? that cage. Look out. Get back there. He's broke loose. Run. Run for your life. Pa. Betsy, Betsy, come here. Betsy, I can't stop my horse. He's running away. Run, the bear is loose. The bear is loose. Soon we be there, Kimasabi. Yes, Tanner. The town of Ridgeville should be a couple of miles further ahead. This is the stagecoach trail. You think we find them? Perhaps. Ah. 
We on trail. Long time. We're getting closer all the time. Remember that. That's right. First it was Pecos, then Sandy Valley. After that it was Placid. And all the while, Silver, watch it. Oh, it's gone. Oh, what's wrong, Kimosabe? Get it oh, over. Oh, Easy, oh. boy. What's the matter? What were you shying at? There's nothing around it. Oh, I see. Toto, uh, bring Scout back here. Uh, Scout not come. He won't, huh? I'm not surprised. Drop his reins and leave him there. There's something here I want you to see. Uh, what's wrong? Take a look here in the dust. <laughs> oh, you see? Even Silver doesn't like to stay here. He's going over to join Scout. That big animal track. Bear tracks, Toto. A big bear. Look at this. Only three toes on this paw. That's right. And here, see this print? What does that mean to you? Oh, bear, three toes. Oh, this sign mean bear have chain, iron chain round neck. Yes, Tato, a bear, a big one, with only three toes and one paw, and wearing an iron chain. There's only one answer, Kimasabi. This is the bear we've been looking for. It's the bear Leech uses for his... What that? Never mind the gun, Tato, that's not the bear. Oh, it sounds like, like somebody... It's over this way. Uh, what is... Oh, his little papoose. Oh, oh, I thought for a second... You thought it was the bear. I was awful scared. He broke loose. Everybody just ran. Oh, he was awful big. You and... ran from the town? I, I guess so. My pa was going to pick me up on his horse when the bear got loose from the chain. But the bear run, and pa's horse just jumped in the air and ran away. And so did I. Now, you don't have to cry. What's your name? Betsy. Betsy Carter. Pa's the sheriff. The man whipped the bear and he broke loose and roared. That bear wasn't after you, Betsy. He looked awful big. That was a tame bear, Betsy. A a tame bear? Yes. Oh, no. No, he wasn't. The man beat him and the bear roared. Now, listen, Betsy. Tato and I know all about that bear and the man who was with him. He's a tame bear. He's been taught to act that way. Not right. You not be scared. Oh, your engine. He's my friend, Betsy. And we're both your friends. You got a nice voice. I like you. I like the engine, too. <laughs> that good little papoose. Now, Betsy, I want you to tell me two things. Y- yes? Now, first of all, how long ago was it that this man, Leech, brought his bear into town? Gee, I don't know, mister. It was... Sun around... almost down now. Where was sun that time? It was around three o'clock, I guess. Three o'clock. And where did Leech have his dancing bear? Huh? Was it in front of the bank? Our town ain't got no bank, mister. I'm too it... small, I see. Then, was it in front of the express office? Yes, that's where. In front of the Wells Fargo office. The express office. Just as it was before, Tonto. Ah, leech him smart man. Smart and crooked as a loose lariat. Betsy, the bear did a lot of running around and roaring before he ran out of town, didn't he? I I don't recollect, mister. Well, I recollect. Reach for the sky, both of you. Papa! Take it easy, Betsy, honey. Get behind me. I don't want nothing to get between me and these here hombres. You came up without a sound, Sheriff. Yeah, I reckon I ain't so bad at tracking down bears myself. And the same goes for crooks. Oh, we not bad men. You keep your mouth closed and your hands high, Injun. It's your masked par that'll do all the talking. Now, just a moment, Sheriff. Nothing doing. I want to know what you... the bear chased me. Quiet, Betsy. This man, he found me. He says it's a tame bear. Yeah, honey, he says a lot of things. A lot of things that need checking up. I heard you telling Betsy about where Leech stopped that bear. First, you said a bank. Then you said the express office. I did. And then you seemed kind of certain sure the bear did a plenty of roaring around before he skedaddled. I did. But what's that got to do You're with... You're convicting yourself, mister. You wasn't in town, but you know all about it. Well, get this. I'm taking you both to jail right now. No, you not... Stop, Tonto. No gunplay. What's behind this, Sheriff? Plenty, mister. About 50,000 gold. That's what's behind it. Gold? Yeah, gold. That tame bear act was a slick scheme to stampede the town folk. While they was running around every which way, all your pard leech had to do was step into the Wells Fargo office and pull a hold up. He got away, but I'll get him later. But now I got you two and you're going into the calaboose. Step along now, pronto. March. In you go. Oh, that's not good. Go ahead, Kimasabi. Do as the sheriff says. You better. I figured you'd give me some trouble, being you was two again one, but you didn't, and now... You're in, and you ain't getting out. Oh, Betsy. Yeah, Pa? I'll be back, mister, to take that mask off your face. Betsy, I want you to go straight home now. Tell Ma I won't be along for supper. I'll get something to eat over to the cafe. Hmm. 
man bad. You heard that, Hunter? You not let him take mask off. We're his prisoners. A prisoner can't conceal his identity. What matter, Kimasabi? Why you let him bring us to jail? Yes, I know, Tata. You're wondering why we didn't make a break as he was bringing us in. Oh, uh, silver fast horse. Scout fast, too. We get way. But not now. For several reasons, Tata. The first, there might have been gunplay. No. Tonto not shoot with the little papoose round. Not us, Tonto. The sheriff might have fired. We had to think of Betsy. But there's another reason. Uh, what that? Tonto, you and I know that Leach has worked the same trick dozens of times. Uh -huh. He's used a tame bear to create so much excitement that he could rob a bank or an express office without much trouble. In the confusion, he could get out of town. That's just what he's done here. Uh, you're right. Well, that's why we're on his trail. He has that bear train to break loose and head back to where Leach has made his camp. Uh -huh. That way him do it afore. Leach has one confederate. We know that. Uh -huh. That confederate must have been here in town unnoticed. He'll most likely report to Leach that we've been arrested for his crime. And I want that to happen. You not loco. I'm not loco, Tata. I have a plan for trapping Leach and his partner and that bear. And that, that why we in jail? That's why. I need the sheriff's help. We've got to win the sheriff's confidence. Mm, that's not easy to do. And we won't know till we try. Uh, maybe so. But him won't take mask off. That's the chance we're taking, Kimasabi. He... Quiet, here he comes. All right, what was you two sidewinders talking about? We were talking about you, Sheriff. Yeah? Well, from now on, I'm going to set the subject for this here debate. Mister, I want to look at your face. Peel off that mask. I'm sorry, Sheriff, I can't do that. I got a dozen deputies I can call on. You're just wasting time. Sheriff, you realize we could have made trouble for you. It's too late for trouble now. You didn't have nerve enough to draw before. Now, take off that mask. We didn't shy away from guns because we were afraid. But we won't argue about that point. Not now. Right now, I want to tell you that we're not the crooks you think we are. Yeah? I want to help you catch the real hold-up men. I want you to trust me. Will you listen? I'll listen, mister. But don't figure on convincing me. I wouldn't trust either of you further than this cell door. And as for Leach, you got to go a long way to prove to me you ain't the same kind of scheming low-down crook he is. Him and that train bear of his. Got you, Rocky Mountain brute. <coughs> uh, snap at me, will you? I'll learn you. Somebody coming. Where's my gun? Leach. Leach, where are you? Oh, it's you, Betty. Yeah, you can host to that shooting iron. You got the gold? All of it. See the bear come back. Yeah, he knows where to head when he breaks loose and gets out of town. Don't you, Rocky? Still whipping him, ain't you? Someday that bear's gonna get raving mad and go for you, Leach. Never mind that. You come from town. Anybody suspect we pull that whole lead? Sure. Nobody figures it was... Huh? You mean they're on to us? Yeah, Leach. <laughs> well, don't worry, none. The sheriff's picked up a couple others. Yeah? Yeah, a masked man and an Indian. That's why they come riding so fast through the dark, to tell you. A masked man and an Indian? But they ain't in with us. Well, the sheriff don't savvy that. It's a break for us, Leach. They'll get strung up for a job they ain't never had no hand in. And the sheriff won't bother coming after us on account of we'll be leaving before he has a chance. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> it ain't bad. Yeah, not bad at all. <laughs> hey, what the? What's come over that bear? Well, he's called local. Look out, he's breaking loose. <laughs> I told you, Leach. That bear's gone plumb crazy. He's broke loose. You see the way he was foaming at the mouth as he went past? You, you think he... Plumb loco mad. And you better watch out, Leach. That bear hates you like poison. Once he gets to feeling his strength, he's going to remember that whip. He's going to come back and claw you to bits. The curtain falls in the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. With the Lone Ranger and Tonto jailed for the express office robbery, Leach and his partner, Bailey, believed they were safe from pursuit. But suddenly the great bear, which had played an innocent part in Leach's scheme, went berserk. It broke his chain and rushed away from the camp into the darkness. Leach was terrified, certain that the bear would return and pay him back for his cruelty. Bailey, that bear would come after me. You know he would, Leach. You're trembling right now. I'm his master. I captured him, fed him, and... We better break camp. Break camp? Oh, it's dark. Then we better go at daybreak. You're right. I don't hanker to meet up with that bear at night. Well, we got fire. Wild animals don't like to get too close to fire. That bear's used to fire. Will you stop here? Give me the... What's that? It's a bear. I told you. Sounds like it's on this side of the fire. Leech. Uh, Look. Right there. Shining in the dark. Yellow. Shining in the dark. It's him. It's his eyes. <laughs> Uh, you idiot. You want to make it worse? Hey, why is this going? I must have hit him. I must have. You missed him. Now he's on the other side. Billy. Billy, build up that fire. Build it up high. We... You got to be careful. We got to watch them eyes. Build it up. Come down. We're making tracks out of here. It's a long time to dawn, Leach. That bear ain't going to wait. Hey, Johnson, I'm back. Johnson. Where in tarnation is that deputy? Who's there? Who do you think, you fool? It's the sheriff. Come out here. I can't, Sheriff. Come around. Huh? I can't. I'm tied up. Tied up? What do you mean? Gee, horse is fat. Well, I'll be hog blind. What happened to you? Didn't I tell you not to go near them prisoners? Oh, I fell for it, Sheriff. They asked me for a drink of water. And, and when you got close, they grabbed you through the bars and rassled you in close enough to grab the keys. Yeah. One of them held you and the other opened the lock. They was powerful strong, Sheriff. You ain't got the brains of a maverick letting prisoners get away. How long ago was it? Ain't you going to untie me? Untie you? I ought to get me a new deputy. How long ago? Maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Sheriff, these rules... I hope they're tight enough to leave bruises. No, they ain't tight. Them two was right nice about it, Sheriff. Corral they... that tongue of yours. All right, I'll untie you. Letting them slip away like that. I ought to get now, rid of them. What are you going to do, Sheriff? How do I know what to do, you fool? We can get the boys together and trail them, maybe. With what, you lame brain? It's pitch dark outside. Yeah, only... Only what? Well, I heard the masked fella tell the engine where they was heading for. What? Why in tarnation didn't you speak up? You didn't give me the chance. Your tongue is hinged in the middle, except when it don't matter. Why for... <sighs> Never mind that. Where was they heading? Sure is good to get them ropes off. I'll put them back on if you don't answer. Golly, Sheriff, I will... What? Uh, sure, sure, I'll tell you. They was heading for where you found them this afternoon. Out on the trail, huh? They said that'd be the best place to find where Leach was. You sure? Certain sure. They said the bear tracks would lead them to the hideout. No, we're getting someplace. Come on. Uh, we can't go out there now, Sheriff. It's too dark. I know a way they're blindfolded. We're getting a posse. But what about that bear? Bears is awful dangerous in the Will night. you hush that blabbermouth? That bear's as tame as you are. It was all play acting. That masked man in the engine is out there someplace, and we're going to find him. Roust out that posse. Be getting there soon, Sheriff. Never mind the chatter, Johnson. Matter of fact, we're already there. Pull up. Now, this is it, men. I grabbed them two right here beside the trail in them bushes. Hard to make anything of Jarvis out. and Pothero, you stay here and guard the horses. All right, Sheriff. I got a feeling them two must be around here somewhere. And I don't want them circling around and grabbing our horses while we're out looking for them. You savvy? Yeah, we savvy. We'll pair up and do a little scouting around and hey, then... Sheriff. Well... What makes you so sure they're still here? Maybe they went on and joined that leech fella. In the dark? Who can follow a trail in the dark? That engine might. Oh, yeah, I reckon he might. So maybe we're wasting our time. Well, maybe. But it's a plumb line cinch. We can't follow no trail in the dark. We might as well look around here. It's all we can. Hey, did you hear that? Shut up. Sheriff, them was... Shut up and listen. Shots. Them shots, all right. And they're coming from the east. 
Them fellas must be over that way. You think maybe they got themselves into an argument? I don't know. Maybe they're fighting about the gold they stole. Or maybe that bear is acting up. But all I hope is them shots don't stop. It gives us a chance to track them down even in the dark. Come on, and keep listening for them shots. See them eyes glaring at me. Reach your wasting bullets. You're crazy. That bear ain't getting me. There he is. What's going wrong with me? They shot right between them eyes, and they still keep staring, staring. Maybe it ain't the bear, Leech. What else? You can hear him, can't you? You can see them eyes, can't you? Yellow eyes staring at us out of the dark. First from one side, then from another. That ain't no coyote, no mountain lion. It's that bear, I... You see him? Uh, there he's moved. I ain't seeing things there, my Bailey. Over there. Yeah. It's them eyes again. Feels like I'm going loco. Let me rest my gun on this here branch. This time I ain't gonna miss. I ain't. <laughs> them eyes are still there. You're still a farmer. You gotta be getting some of them bullets. You gotta! Uh... I ran out of bullets, Billy. Give me some more bullets. I ain't got no more, Leech. You got plenty. No, I tell you, you've been shooting like a crazy man. You fired more than 50 bullets. The bullets is all gone. All gone? Yeah. What are we going to do? Let's get out of here. Let's take the horses. Yeah, and... yeah, the horses. It's dark, but I... No. No, I ain't going. You're scared. Oh, sure, sure, I'm scared. That bear's out there waiting. You can see his eyes. He's out there waiting. If we... If we leave this here fire... He'll come at us and out of the dark. No. No, I'd rather stay here. Stay right here beside that fire. All right, you men. Pull up your horses. We're stopping. Uh, Ain't heard no shots for quite a spell, Sheriff. Yeah. Don't know which way to go from here. We've been heading right, but I don't know which... Let's keep going. Sure, we'll run into them. Keep traveling. Use your brains. They stopped shooting. They'd hear us coming from way off. They couldn't run out of bullets. That's exactly what they have done, Sheriff. What the... Who said that? Don't anybody reach for a gun. Where are you? It's too dark to see. Much too dark, Sheriff. I'm down on the ground. You're on horseback. I can see you outlined against the sky. Sheriff, it's the mask man. By cracky, you're right. That's his voice. Yes, I'm the mask man. Sheriff, I have the drop on you, haven't I? I reckon you have. If I come closer, will you agree not to make any gunplay? Well? Agreed, mister. No gunplay. And the same goes for the posse. Understand that, you fellas? Yeah, we understand. All right, masked man. Now, if you'll come up close... I'm already close, Sheriff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I told you once before that I wasn't working with Leech. Now I'm going to prove it to you. I'm listening. I'll prove it by showing you where Leech is. You can capture him without a fight. Yeah? What about that bear he's got? I don't relish running into that. The bear isn't with Leech. Huh? You heard me. That bear's right here. Tato. Uh, me got him. Bring the bear over here, Tato. Okay, Miss Hobby. Oh. Your eyes are accustomed to the darkness. Besides, dawn isn't far away and it's growing lighter by the minute. You can see the bear, Sheriff? Well, I'll be. It's him, all right. Tame as a sheepdog. Yes, Sheriff, he's tame. No animal is bad. It's a man who makes him bad. This bear would harm no one, except Leech, possibly. You mean on account of Leech whipped him? Uh, matter of fact. Say, how'd you know where to find us? You gave the answer to that yourself, Sheriff. Your horses made plenty of noise going through the brush. Oh. That critter makes me nervous. It's getting on to dawn, Sheriff. If we're going to pick up them crooks, we'd better get started. Right. Mask man. This ain't no trap? It's no trap, Sheriff. Leech is camped a half a mile ahead. He and his partner, Bailey. Now, here's what we're going to do. Bailey. Bailey, it's getting late. Dawn is coming. We'll get out of here. I ain't here to bear in quite a spell, Leech. Yeah. I ain't neither, but I seen his eyes. Yeah. Right over there. Funny how the shadows creep around. This time of night, everything gets gray. We ought to see the bear. But there ain't nothing to spot but his eyes. They don't wink or nothing. It's getting lighter. We'll see him soon. A 
big mountain of fur with his eyes shining out of his face. We'll see him. Billy! Billy! Fleet, you gone loco? Where are you going? Billy, look. Well, I'll be. There ain't no bear here at all. It's a forked stick with a couple of shiny pebbles stuck to him. Shiny pebbles. And all night long we figured it was the bear staring at us. We stood our bullets shooting at nothing. Leech, we've been tricked. We've been... Hey, Leech, who done it? Who was the foolish with them pebbles? We'll give you the answer to that. Rush him, boy. Put up. Push him. Oh, you can't can't gun, Leech. Go. We know it's empty. I've been out there all night, ain't you? I never figured any sheriff was that smart. I wasn't that smart, Leech. I didn't <coughs> figure this out. The masked man brung us here just now. Hey, sheriff. Here's the gold from the Wells Fargo office. It was in the saddlebag. Hold on to it, Johnson. Yeah, Leech, like I was saying... This here was the mask man's ID. Him, huh? He set up that fork stick with the pebbles on it? Yes, Bailey. Tonto and I did it. And those noises you heard. We always thought it was a bear. Tonto's an expert at imitating animal sounds. You recall when your bear broke away? You mean you fixed that too? We did. That bear was hungry. You'd been starving it for so long. We used the scent of meat to make him break his chain. And when he followed the scent... He followed the scent and come right to you. Yes. Now, you're prisoner, Sheriff. We got a masked man, thanks to you. Tonto, you've got the bear? Uh... Me and bear, good friends now. We... <laughs> stop him! Stop him! He's coming after me! Stop, big fella! Stop! Stop! Calm down, Rocky. Calm down. Get, get me out of here, Sheriff. Take me to jail. Any place so I don't have to look at that bear. I sure will. But, mister, if you want to turn that bear over to me, we'd be real friendly to him. No, Sheriff. This bear will harm no one. But he's a wild animal. And wild animals shouldn't be captives. We're setting him free. Well, suit yourself. Come on, men. Let's head for town. Up on your horses, you coyote. <coughs> Adios, stranger, and thanks. Adios. We alone now, Kimasabi. Unfasten the bear's chain, Tata. Now, oh, boy, easy. Easy while I get off this collar. There. Now go. The country's yours. Here, Silver. We ride, Kimasabi? Yes, Tata. Our work here is finished. Uh, Hip. Oh, Steady, Silver. Steady, old boy. Look. Yes, Tonto. The bear's going off. He's heading west for the Rockies. Uh, uh, him go home. Well, let's hope he gets there, Tonto. Look at him shake his head. He realizes that he's free, Tonto. Free. All right, Silver. Come on, old boy. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Oh, Silver, away! Just heard the copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> 